Russia will launch new offensive aimed to capture entire Donetsk and Luhansk in June. Ukraine. Russia intends to initiate a significant summer offensive in June with the objective of seizing the entirety of Donetsk and Luhansk oblasts, Kirillo Budanov, head of Ukrainian military's main intelligence directorate, told the Washington Post. After that, Russians will focus on U.S. presidential elections in the fall, chief of the main intelligence directorate said. Before the inauguration of U.S. president, they will try to get as much territory as possible in Donetsk and Luhansk, he stated. Russians probably hope that Donald Trump will be able to ratify their achievements if he will be re-elected. American Institute for the Study of War wrote that Russian troops will likely continue offensive operations until spring of 2024 and prepare for a summer offensive on March the 23rd. In an interview with CBS News, President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed that Russia could be preparing a counter-offensive in late May or early June. He said that Ukraine needs the help of its partners to prepare its brigades for enemy actions. According to Politico, Ukrainian military believes that during the summer offensive, Russia could push front lines in Ukraine in areas where it will concentrate its main forces. Bloomberg also reported, citing Western officials familiar with the situation, that Ukraine is in its most precarious position in more than two years of war waged by Russia due to a lack of ammunition, troops and air defense systems. The US and the EU are concerned that Russian forces may punch through Ukrainian defensive lines in the coming weeks. People familiar with the matter have told Bloomberg. Ukraine also faces daily Russian missile, drone and bomb attacks that are knocking out key energy infrastructure and striking military positions due to its lack of air defences, according to Bloomberg. Because of this, concerns are mounting that Russia may make major gains in the coming weeks by punching through overstretched Ukrainian lines, sources in the US and Europe told the agency. Kirillo Budanov earlier said that Russians were planning to intensify combat actions in late May and early June 2024. Russian new Banzai tactics in Robotine village of Zaporizhia Oblast. Co-founder and analyst of deep state platform Roman Pohorilyi spoke in an interview with Radio NV about the Banzai attacks of the Russian occupiers in Robotine, Zaporizhia Oblast. Enemy continues to pressure our positions in Robotine, also uses Banzai attacks. Pohorili said, The tactics have been used many times before when they drive on infantry fighting vehicles with infantry in a certain area directly, even under risk. Now they are driving right into the center of the village. Our military meet them with fire, including drones and drops from them and destroys them. At the same time, analysts noted that Robotine cannot be considered a grey zone because Ukrainian military is holding the line and the occupiers cannot gain a foothold. Now they are trying from Novoprokopivka, from southern and southwestern outskirts, somehow trying to advance. Pohorili also said, They are very focused on shelling, but there is nothing left to shell. Today, a video was released by the 65th Brigade showing that Robotine no longer exists physically. It's just a complete ruin. A flat, leveled ground. There is no longer even the kind of destruction where there are just pieces of buildings left. It's just all turned to ash. And yet, despite this, the enemy is trying to advance. He said that it is very difficult for Ukrainian military to hold on in this area and the situation is getting worse every day. The village of Robotine was occupied by Russians in March 2022. In August 2023, Ukrainian armed forces liberated the village. Since then, occupiers have not stopped trying to regain their lost ground. The Institute for the Study of War said that Russian troops advanced to western outskirts of Robotine and continued intensified offensives in Zaporizhia Oblast on February the 20th. In March, National Guard spokesman Ruslan Muzichuk said that active fighting was taking place near the village of Robotine in Zaporizhia Oblast. Russians are trying to conduct assault operations from south and east in the direction of Ukrainian settlements. Zaporizhia Regional Council member Serhii Lyshenko said on Espresso TV channel that firefighters are in Robotine already on April the 9th. Armed forces denied that report and said that Robotine remained under control of Ukrainian armed forces. At the same time, in the area of responsibility of the 65th Separate Mechanized Brigade defending the village, there are regular clashes with subversive groups that enter the village and try to gain a foothold there.